Well, good evening, and thanks for choosing KRX 5 News. I'm Adrian Thomas. We begin tonight with a peaceful local protest, but it's part of a larger national outcry. Saturday night, a, a crowd gathered in Grand Junction for a candlelight vigil honoring George Floyd. George Floyd is the African-American man who recently died in the custody of the Minneapolis police. Carry X5's Jessica Batista joins us live from the site of the vigil with more details. Jessica, what can you tell us? Adrian, there's not many people out here right now, but last night there were hundreds of people outside the Grand Junction Federal Building, 560 to be exact. The people that organized this vigil invited all members of the community to come and mourn the loss of George Floyd. Unlike m most cities in the United States that have been having violent protests, last night's protest was peaceful and nonviolent. I can't breathe. Is being chanted by more than 500 people in the streets of Grand Junction. People of all races and all colors and all ages to like come together. I think that's what's the great part about it. People of many different backgrounds came together peacefully Saturday night to make now their the voices time to heard. Lift our nation from the quicksands of racial injustice to a solid rock of brotherhood. On racial issues in the United States. Being black, it's kind of like my duty to like say something about it. Local law enforcement was also at the protest to ensure public safety and were standing peacefully among protesters. Even though the incident was over a thousand miles away, people in Grand Junction are mourning the loss of George Floyd. Not just George Floyd, but the ones before him who lost their lives. It was wrong and there should be justice served to their families. Malika is optimistic this vigil will shine a light on racism. I don't want to be seen as my race first. I just want to be seen as a person. With an end to comments like saying that I speak really well for my race. And before speeches were made about race Racial injustices. Born and make action, do action, not. The group Black Lives Matter asked for eight minutes of silence from the community. A silence many hope will bring change. I hope there's legislative action from our local city council all the way to our new presidential administration. And we will keep you updated on this story and how it is affecting people in Grand Junction. Live in front of the Grand Junction's federal building and first on the Western Slope, I'm Jessica Batista reporting for KREX 5 News. Back to you, Adrian.